Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows Server 2019 in a virtual machine. I have downloaded the ISO image of Windows Server 2019 and saved in my hard drive. This is Windows Server 2019. I'm using VMware Workstation 15.x to create the virtual machine. I will go to File menu and then New Virtual Machine. I will select Custom and then go Next. The hardware compatibility is 15.x and I will go Next. I will choose I will install the operating system later and go Next. And from the Guest Operating System menu, I will choose Microsoft Windows and from the version drop-down, I will select Windows Server 2016. Even though I'm installing Windows Server 2019 and it is not available in the menu, I can select Windows Server 2016 and it works. So I'll go next. From here, I will go to Browse and then select the folder where I will install the server. So I open the folder. Here, I will create a new folder. I'll name it as lawn dc1 dash 2283 you can give any name but make sure it's a new folder so you select that folder and click on ok i will change the virtual machine name as lawn dc1 dash 2283 and go next I will keep the firmware as default and go next. I will keep the processor as two processor and go next. I will select four gigabyte of memory. So I'll click on four GB and then go next. I will keep the network card mode as NAT so that I can access internet and go next. I will keep the IO controller as default and go next. I will keep virtual disk type also default and go next. I will create a new virtual hard disk and go next. I will use the disk size as 160 gigabyte and also I will select a store virtual disk as a single file and go next. And then next again. This is the summary of the virtual machine configuration. Everything looks fine, so I'll click on finish. The virtual machine has been created. Next, I'm going to install Windows Server 2019. So I will go to edit virtual machine settings. I can go from here. I can right click here and then click on settings. And then I will go to CD DVD select use iso image file and then browse i browse to the folder where i saved my iso files and it is located here and windows server 2019 so this is the latest one so I'll select that one and click on open and then click on OK. The ISO file has been mounted. Now I will power on this virtual machine and click inside the black screen and press enter. The files are being loaded now. Here I will keep the language and time settings as default and go next and then click on install now. I will select I don't have a product key and then from here I will select Windows Server 2019 data center desktop experience and go next 
if you select only data center without desktop experience then we'll end up with a command prompt not graphical user interface here i will accept the terms and go next and then i will select custom install windows only advanced i will keep the hard drive which is the virtual hard drive that i created earlier and go next the installation has started Here I'm going to create a password for the administrator account. I will use capital P A dollar dollar W zero R D. Repeat the same password capital P A dollar dollar W zero R D and then click on finish. Now we can log in by pressing an all control delete and in VMware workstation I can do that by clicking on this key at the top of the screen so we we'll log in I will select here yes and I will close this message the installation is complete as you can see the window of the virtual machine is a small screen inside my host machine to make it full screen and to be able to copy files between the virtual machine and my host machine i need to install vmware tools to install vmware tools i will close the server manager and then i will go to the vm menu and then select install vm tools this will mount an iso image with the virtual cd drive inside this server it can automatically start installation if it doesn't start the installation automatically you can open the file manager as you can see it has mounted a cd dvd now i will open the file manager and then go to cd dvd as you can see VMware tools has been mounted so I open the DVD and it has started installing VMware tools if it doesn't start installing VMware tools you can expand the CD DVD
and then start the setup from here or you can go to the sources and start setup from here okay the installation screen is behind this screen so we'll go to that installation wizard and then i will go next i will keep the default and go next and then click on install when the installation is complete you will notice that this screen of the server in vmware workstation will become a full screen as it has changed to a full screen now i will click on finish and i will restart the machine So I'll log in. The server is ready. It is very similar to Windows Server 2016. Next, you can add different roles and features. For example, you can install a DHCP server, DNS server, web server, and many other services. After installing VMware tools, you should be able to copy files between the host machine and the guest machine. I will demonstrate that as well. Let's say I want to copy this file as a demonstration. So I right click on it and then click on copy. This is my host machine. I go to the server, open file explorer. And then let's say I want to paste in the desktop. So right click and paste. Also, I can do the reverse. So I remove that file. I will create a new text file. And then I can copy this file from the guest machine so right click copy and i go back to the host machine file explorer and then right click and paste okay so i'm going to delete this file as i don't need that file i will delete this file as well from the guest machine i will close this window and that is the end of this video I hope you found this video was helpful. If you would like to receive notifications on future videos, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and set up notifications by tapping on the bell. Thank you for watching.